Hey, thank you for the comment and click on the video for context. But just think about this, right? As it was in the days of Noah, so too shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man, right? It's just interesting and ironic that on the earth right now, there's someone who's built a scale model version of the ark. So know this, right? When Noah and his family, Noah and his seven family members, when they get on the ark, they're on, so he, he built the ark and preached for 120 years. And then um, when it happened, they, they got on the ark, the door shut, and they were on the ark for seven days. Now, you don't think that's significant? They were on the ark for seven days. So first off, they got a seven-day warning, and then they, his, him and his family get on the ark, and then they are on the ark for seven days, and then the flood water start. Rains for 40 days and 40 nights, and then they're on the ark all the way till Heshbon 17. So Heshbon 10, they get on the ark. Heshbon, 20, uh, Heshbon 17, the fountains of the deep break open and the heavens open up, right? And it rains for 40 days and 40 nights. And then they're, they're on the ark all the way a full year until Heshbon 27, which is a 10 day difference, right? And that's actually encoded the difference between the lunar and solar calendar. And if you look in the Apocrypha, like Jubilee 636, I think it is, you know, they will come up 10 days too short because if you're, you gotta look at the moon and the sun and the stars, you gotta use all three. So Jesus tells us, when they ask him, what is it going to be like at your coming? It's going to be like the days of Lot and like the days of Noah, right? So, and he gives the context. In the days of Lot, they were, they were still building, planting, buying, selling. So they were still buying and selling. We know we can't buy or sell with, without the mark of the beast, right? And the Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, the righteous are pulled out, then destruction. God said he's not going to do it until the righteous are pulled out, be there only one. And then in the days of Noah him and his seven family members are lifted above the waters. The waters, the sea in the book of Revelation represents many people and seven family members, seven churches possibly, sevenfold spirit of God, seven days in a week, all this. And Jesus says, as it was in the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking and marrying and they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Now, highly recommend doing this. Go throughout the Bible, go throughout Genesis and chart out every day. Just know this, that in the book of the Gen book of Genesis, the first month is Tishri, not Nisan or Abib. And then God switches it at the Exodus to from, from Tishri, the first month, and now Abib or Nisan is the first month. Now chart it out for yourself. Chart out every single thing and even look at the Ark of the Covenant and every every single thing that happens and occurs on the same days. The, the same significance of that event occurs on same days, you know? It's all throughout the Bible. I think it's interesting and beautiful. Uh, there's so much more to this. I love y'all. God bless.